Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Auto Mall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota RAV4 TRD. Now the most suitable features on this TRD is its power moonroof, you have your navigation system and your heated and cooled front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota RAV4 TRD. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this TRD is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if you take a closer look, just over on the side you have your 18 inch TRD style black alloy wheels. Now you also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your blacked out mirrors, foldable mirrors and then the other nice thing is if we take a look on the inside of the mirror, you'll see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with that indicator it will actually light up just learning that there is another vehicle right beside you. You have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically, and then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times, and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is magnetic gray. And to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now, as you can see, you have your black leather into your seat surfaces with your red accent stitching. And if you take a look on the headrests, it has TRD stamped inside there as well. Now, unlike the trail where it has the orange accents in there, it actually has the red accents on your center dash area as well as on the dash itself. Now, taking a look at the, the floor mats as well, it has TRD off-road stamped into them as well. And on the left-hand side here, you will see the automatic headlights window wiper de-icer as well as the heated steering wheel and power lift gate release. On the inside of your driver's side door you have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, back, Bluetooth, volume control, voice recognition, lane departure alert, cruise control mode select and your seek function. Now you do have the push button start so all you have to do is push your foot on the brake, hit the push button and it will start up for you automatically. Now, taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So, as you can see, you have a distance to empty with your fuel economy, an exterior temperature gauge, and scrolling through. As you can see, you have a couple of other uh, sorry, additional features with your compass, lane departure alert. You can also go through your audio and your trip info with your all-wheel drive control. And then in your settings menu, you have your lane trace assist, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off rear cross traffic alert, as well as a couple of other additional features. And finally, you'll finish with your messages menu. Now, taking a look just at your center dash, as well as your touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So if you go inside your menu screen, you'll see your destination audio phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. Now, with the apps menu, this is part of the Entune app suite, so as long as you have it on your phone, you can use such apps as the Slacker app, which allows you to stream your music from your phone onto the touch panel display. You can also check on local fuel prices or on the latest sports scores, just depending on what your preferences are. Now, it is compatible with Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto. You do have the premium JBL sound system in here with the Sirius XM satellite radio, hazard lights, dual zone climate control settings, and then you'll also find your traction control on and off with your heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and passenger with three different settings depending on how hot or how cool you would like it. Underneath you'll find the power outlet with the USB and auxiliary input with your wireless charging pad on and off. So once you have it turned on you can just place your phone on top and have it start charging for you. Now it is matted to an automatic transmission and if you take a look just down below here right beside it you'll see your Eco Normal Sport along with your snow downhill assist control with your mud sand rock and dirt feature. So when you actually turn the dial, the color will actually change just letting you know what mode you're actually in. And then when you hit the normal button, it'll go back to that uh, blue color. Now, taking a look just at the top here, you have your open and close as well as your tilt up and down feature for the power moonroof with the SOS Safe Connect. So in the event you're in a collision and you're unable to respond, emergency services will be sent out to you right away just to make sure you're okay. Now you have the sunglass case holder, and then I'm just going to throw this into reverse just so I can show you what the backup camera looks like. So as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. And then you can also change up the view of your backup camera to a more dynamic view or the traditional backup camera view you're used to. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now, you'll notice just with the TRD style, you have the blacked out emblem on the back here. and 
taking a look just underneath your tailgate here, you'll see your backup camera as well as your rear hatch release located underneath your Toyota emblem. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up for you automatically. Now, closing in on the rear cargo space, you do have the cargo cover in the back, which is great because you can cover up your valuables just while you're going from place to place. And then you have a 60-40 split for your rear seat. So in the event that you need the additional space, you can just pull on one of the two tabs that you see. The other nice thing that comes with the TRD off-road is it does offer you the cargo liner in the back, which is great because you can cover up your valuables, or sorry, when uh, liquids spill on it. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, it's much easier to clean up afterwards just because you can have it removed and cleaned up properly afterwards. Now if we take a look underneath the floor, you're going to find your spare tires as well as your jack and tool kit. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. And then if we take a look just at the top here, you have your power adjustable tailgate. So all you have to do is hold down the button for approximately two seconds to the height you'd like it at. It'll beep a couple of times and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height for you. However, if you want to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button for more than four seconds. It'll beep several times, then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this maximum height. A couple of the uses for that power tailgate is if you're a little bit shorter or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comments section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.